I was uh, teaching my prevention program at Jordan Creek Elementary. Um, I had uh, actually earlier that morning I'd been working out as I'd done every day. Uh, started to get a little lightheaded at some point during our workout. Stopped for a second, was able to recover and felt fine. Came back up to the school to eat lunch with the kids and then teach my last class. Um, was sitting in the lunchroom and you know talking with the kids and all of a sudden it sounded like the fire alarm was going off. Just kind of a, a strong buzzing sound like a you know, building fire alarm. Started to look around and all the kids were you know, acting as normal, talking and having fun there in the classroom. And then I started kind of getting a little lightheaded and realizing that something going on with me. Um, sat down at the table and kind of a black and white flash, like kind of like you're going to pass out type lightheaded feeling and have some weird feeling down my left side and I wasn't sure what was going on. So I grabbed one of the lunch ladies and I told her, I said, you need to help me get out of here and get to the nurse's office. And she thought I was joking. She started to walk away. So I had to grab her shirt, pull her down to me and kind of get a little bit angry and tell her, you need to get me out of this room now. Uh, I couldn't walk any further and just kind of went down there in the hallway. When I saw Scott lying there, I said something to him about, Scott, this is Nurse Cindy, what's going on? And he said, tried to talk to me at the time and it was slurred, he was not able to enunciate. So I went to, back to the office, picked up a blood pressure cuff and my stethoscope and went back and took his blood pressure and it was very high. And Scott's a very physical man, he's, he's athletic, he plays with his kids a lot and, and for his blood pressure to be what it was, was scary. Never lost consciousness at all. The school nurse that came out and as soon as she looked at me, she's like, you're having a stroke. And I'm, no, I'm not. You know, I'm 38 years old, I'm going to turn 39. I was like, no, I'm not. As soon as that happened and they got Scott out and realized something was going on, one of the bystanders called 911. 